Walter Tinnebum Brightleaf is a self-made CEO and multimillionaire specializing in flashlights. Walter got his start in the early 2000s when he discovered the world's need for long-lasting heavy-duty flashlights. In 2003, he launched Brightleaf Flashlights, and now, 20 years later, the masses still crave his invention. Roll A, scene four, shot one, take Oh, no, one. I do, do. Hey. Hey, can, can we get that no, back? Hey, yeah. Oh, can, can you look at, can you look at the camera? Oh, put, put here, here. Roll A, scene, scene four, shot one, take D. Mark? Who's Mark? Okay. Is this action? Thank yeah. you. Welcome in. Oh, shaw, dude, what's going, what's going on, dude? <laughs> I'm doing good, dude. <laughs> Never do that again, dude. <laughs> that was lame. Okay, um, anyway, how do you feel about Mr. Brightleaf? Oh, shaw, there they go. Oh, dude, it's a solid guy, you know? Yeah, uh, real dude, you know? I mean, ever, ever since I was a kid, man, like, oh, God. I saw him on that TV, on that commercial, and man, I like, I thought, Dan, it's bro cha, cha right here. Don't do it, yeah. Commercial, man, changed, changed, changed my life, man. Oh, hold up, we need to change the battery real What's quick. Wrong? It's, it's too weird how these people love the flashlights, man. It's weird, but hey, they're pretty good flashlights. Yeah. Guys, can we not? Can we not? Sorry, yes, so, sorry, sorry. Hi. Hey, how are you? Uh, I'm doing great. Is this for the 20 years of bright leaf thing? Yes, it is. Awesome. What would you like to know? Uh, first, what are you working on? I'm currently working on a remodeled version of the first ever bright leaf flashlight. <laughs> That's super cool. Is the company doing anything to celebrate this milestone? Don't tell anyone, but me and my coworkers are planning a surprise birthday party for Mr. Brightly. Wow, that sounds fun. <sighs> what? Did you guys not read the manual? The company manual? Barely. Yeah? Why? So you would know about... No, whatever, it's fine. Continue. So how do you feel about Mr. Brightly? Well, in a professional sense. He's a really great boss, but in a much more personal and an appropriate sense, I desperately want to marry him. Max Brightleaf. That was a great ring to it, don't you think? Can, can I get the next cruise down here? Yeah, yeah. Can just cut, cut, cut. cut. So Mr. Tinnebaum, how do you know Mr. Brightleaf? I'm Walt's brother. Oh, how amazing. Mm. What do you want to know about him? Well, how was it like growing up with Mr. Brightleaf? He was always very outgoing and motivated, to say the least. In high school, he participated in theater, which of course, he had to steal the spotlight. Do you think him being in such a creative environment helped him later on when developing the Brightleaf flashlight? To be honest, I couldn't tell you. And why is that? because the last time I talked to my brother, he hand delivered me a note saying that I needed to use our first last name instead of the one that made him famous because he copyrighted it. And how did that make you feel? Mad. Are we done here? <clears throat> Cut. Mr. Brightleaf. Please, call me Walter. Okay, Walter. I'm about to ask you a few questions about your time in the flashlight business. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Hit me. Uh, 20 years. That's a long time. How has your view on the industry changed from the start to now? When I started, there was no industry, okay? I built the whole flashlight industry by myself. Oh, okay. Are you planning on celebrating this milestone? Of course! I'm taking myself to Peru. Oh. Alright. What is he doing? It's, it's, it's normal. Do you have any more questions? Are we done? Uh, I think we can wrap this up.
you have any more questions? Yeah, no, I think I'm done here. It's done! <laughs> okay, look, good job. And, dude. For what? And I had another toe. Jared. And I found I get that you have another toe. But it helped me with surfing. It's totally yeah. good. <laughs> totally good for him. <laughs> Perfect. And, and I remember you didn't put your hat. Please don't put me. Please don't put me. I'm not putting the hat on. You gotta put your hat on. Look how good he looks. That's fine, Sean. Guys, he's coming! Guys, he's coming! Be quiet! Oh my gosh. Logan, quick, hide under the desk! Come on! A benching angel. Why is it this? Never mind. I'll do it for you, baby. Surprise! Surprise! I don't know what's happening. Is it good? I don't know. Anyway. Is it good? Oh, my love. Surprise! Look at your party hat, silly goose. Yay! <laughs> and that was the end of Walter Tinnebum Brightleaf. If only his employees had read the fine print in the employee handbook stating, if surprised or scared, Walter will Yay! die of a heart attack. <laughs> Unbelievable. Is it okay? I'm the narrator, and this was Yo, the incredible life of Walter Tinnebum. Yeah. Oh, you, you, you like your balloon? Why well, have another bowl of chocolate? Is he okay? Is he okay? Um, Walt, you guys, I, I think we're. You okay? I, think we're I don't think time. he's alright anymore. Um, I think. Walt. Turd, bro. Uh, I, I think he's fine. I think he's completely fine. fine. No. Very fine. <laughs> Are we involved in a murder now? Uh oh. It's Come on! Yeah. Oh, these look like the size of my babies. I'm gonna have a kid. He's dead. Oh my god. He's not. Oh my god. He's fine. Oh my god. Turn, I've been in a lot of circles. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. What do you mean? He's definitely dead. He's dead. Walter. I need to call 911. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god.